most of my work is based on the Scottish landscape and on Venice. The last time I was in Venice, I did this little watercolour uh, on the spot. It was a sunny day, luckily, so that was great. And then I took a photograph, so you can see that the relationship is, is quite good. It's, it's not exactly from the same, but it, it gives you, it, it's not bad, I was quite pleased. And that was the watercolour done and then the photograph taken. And uh, this is uh, Isola di San Giorgio Maggiore, which is an island just opposite Venice, and it has got this lovely church and this bell tower. Um, and the last time I was there, I, I didn't know um, there's um, a lift, so you can go all the way to the top of the bell tower, and the view from there is just a standing, because it's as if you're up, uh, like a bird, and you can see the whole of Venice, 360 degrees, so it was fascinating. Anyway, I was up there, took some photographs, um, but today I just want to have a go. These are drawings, that's a drawing on location, and then the photograph of it. Um, that's another little watercolour that I did at another time. And this is a watercolour that Turner did in 1819. Uh, now, <laughs> you can see that it's a bit different. Uh, the, the, all this is not here anymore, and I'm not. There is, there are now some boats. It's a sort of harbour with with sort of private boats, and uh, but the the architecture is a very very similar, and I love that. That's early morning. It must be probably in the autumn. And I'm just thinking that what I would like to do is have a go and do a drawing as a compliment to Turner with the information of my other pieces that I have done. Do a little drawing and then attempt to do a painting from that, uh, inspired from that, inspired by the colours of that, but maybe with my own uh, angle. But all I want is really the silhouette, so I'm going to try and sort of... Um, Give myself an idea of what happens here. This is the cupola, and there, and then there's a building in front of it. So that's that's all I need, really. Here we are. So this is what I'm doing, doing, and I've got the back of Venice here. So there's the lagoon. The back of the lagoon is here, and then. A bit lower down. So that that's my idea, and that silhouette is what I'm trying to sort of capture. So I'll go on to um, painting now.
going to go on working on this one, but that's as far as I can do until it's dry, because I'll be working on top. And I'll be probably wait, I need to wait until all this, this is dry to fill in the background with a bit more substance, the sky especially, but that's the, the beginning of it anyway. That's as far as I think I can go with that one. I'm quite happy with the composition at least. I'm running some classes from my studio, which is exciting. Uh, I've got some new people coming, which is great. I have a beginner's class, which um, runs two days a month. A painting class, which runs two days a month. And an advanced uh, class, which um, is for artists that want to develop different ways of informing their work and working in different media and maybe um, trying new things, um, trying to inform their work with different, um, coming from different sources, um, visual, auditory and emotionally. So it's, it's all interesting stuff, it's quite experimental. Um, and I'm hoping to be running more classes from October onwards, so this is my plan for the year. You started out uh, Perth Your Open Studios, I, didn't you? Yes, I did. I, I, I did. I um, got the idea after visiting Spring Fling in 2008, and I decided that we needed something to, in, in Persia to promote our artists and the uh, Persia Visual Arts Forum uh, had uh, been on the go for about a year and I thought well why don't we try and do an open studio event and it was all very much um, an experiment at the beginning but uh, we soon got enough people and our first year we had 60, 65 studios so it was fantastic to have been able to gather enough people and enough enthusiasm to get it started and now in our fourth year we've got 120 studios so it's going from strength to strength and I hope this year will be a great success. Um, I'm sure it will be. That's great, um, thanks Louise. Okay, I think that's a fact. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think I'll do. I think we'll call it a day. Okay. Ah! Thank <laughs> you.